Okay, so I've got the uh, Sega Saturn emulator working, uh, your mouse, and uh, it's working, but it's uh, it's a little bit slow, so I've had to overclock, um, and uh, I've used a couple of different sources for overclocking. Uh, so there's a, a Tom's Hardware have done an article on it, uh, and also the ETA Prime video on YouTube. I'll link both in the description, uh, and also the comments under the YouTube video as well have helped out a lot. So let's uh, just show you that I'm running at. So this is what I've put in under Pi 4. I've put in over voltage equals 4, frequency 1750, GPU frequency 620. Um, so if I open up this one, so the stock is 1.5 gigahertz and 500 megahertz GPU. So let's close that down, get rid of that. If I show you this as well, uh, this is the one that shows you that the frequency is running at, at uh, 1750 or 1.75. And the other thing to do on this is this one, which shows the temperature. So this is gonna show every 30 seconds it's gonna update with the temperature. So 59 degrees at the moment. Uh, so let's start it up. Get this close so I can crop in so you can see the temperature at the same time. Uh, and let's go. So at the moment it's set to, if I click on that, this is frame skip on uh, and this one is just frames per second. Uh, I've configured the uh, Xbox 360 wired controller. So that's what I'll be using. So open ISO. So let's start off with Road Rash. So my fans come on. Uh, you can see the temperatures dropped to 55. I may overclock further, um, but I'm just going to see how it goes uh, at this. I think it's. Um, 175 or 1750 is it as high as you can go um, and stay within the warranty. You're not supposed to overclock beyond that, but obviously it depends what cooling you've got as to whether it will it will work well. Uh, don't use my guide. Um, I'm not recommending you do this. It's uh, I've I've just read other things on forums. Best to read through them because they know a lot more than me about that sort of thing. So if I start off, and what I'll do is I'll flick through some of the settings. So if I hit start, just get onto a straight. Uh, and if I change this one, I think OpenGL gave better performance on this game. It varies on the games. Yeah, I think that feels a bit better. Is it slow you don't walk? So if I also turn off the frame skip, just to show you why I've enabled the frame skip. Because we've dropped down to 31 frames a second now. And you can see if I'm, I'm trying to bank hard left and right and it's going really slow. So let's pop that back on. There we go, Whoop. but not bad considering it's not it's not optimised, as I say I'm overclocked, I'm using a fan shim uh, to keep it cool, but I was I was rather impressed with that, I didn't didn't expect to get it running as smoothly as it is, and it is it is playable. So let's get let's go for a crash. Oh, okay. Obviously, I wasn't getting fast enough. Anyway, uh, so let's skip on to another game. Fans come back on again now.
but it doesn't stay on all the time, so it obviously doesn't need it that much. It's not, it's not that crucial, which is nice to know because it means that there's probably some more room in there for overclocking higher. Ooh. But also when the um, game is properly, I think it's optimized, it should be optimized for open GL, I think it was. If, it, if it's properly optimized for that, then it will run a lot better. So let's go on to the next one. And if you if you get issues with the graphics, there's a few things you can try. There's this different video interface, so you can see it's on software video interface. It probably was because when I last tried this game, that one seemed to work the best. Yeah, the intro didn't work with the OpenGL one. So if I go to OpenGL, oh, it is now, but it, it's, but it's, it's very slow. Oh, now it's on. Yeah, that's what it was doing. Uh, so if I go into software interface, that seemed to work better on this intro. Oh, why is it skip back then, didn't it? So frame skips on still. Fans just come on again. So this this is great. I was uh, really playable. Uh, what I like about it as well is you can bat back. <laughs> Not like that. You can bat back the little sword, little little knives that they're chucking at. Oh, it's fast though. And it's also on two different levels as well, so you can. Oh, not not there. Here you can sk skip up. Oh. Do have to do hold? Yeah. Um, so if I change that, there you go. So now I've turned off the frame skip. So you can see everything looks all a bit slow motion, especially when I die. So frame skip is definitely needed on this game. But as you can see, it moves around really quite nicely. I love the way he bats away the knives. That's great. Oh, bomb. So I'd definitely play that. I, I, it actually, on this sort of game, the frame skip doesn't, doesn't feel bad. Obviously it would be smoother, but, oh. But I think that's perfectly playable. When I first launched it, uh, I had an issue with, uh, it was almost just the characters and a black background. Uh, and what I changed on it was uh, layers. So if you're having trouble, you can turn on and off some of the layers. And weirdly, when I turned off some of the layers, it seemed to work better. So, another game. I can't hear the sound very well on this because it's turned very low, so if the sound's terrible, it's it's just because I don't want to pick up on the mic. Right, Castlevania was something I was asked to try. Uh, unfortunately, the only version I found was the Japanese version. So I can't read any of the uh, menus or things. So frame skip on. Let's leave it on software and see how it goes. Fans come on. So it's not on all the time by any means. And it really cools it very quickly. So I've got it updating every 30 seconds, but it, it really brings it down to temperature in no time at all.
Oh. So yeah, it seems to play all right. I'll turn off the frame skip in a minute. Oh. Right, let's turn that off for this bit. Okay, so frame skip off, and you can see immediately it drops down to 27. And I can't, why can't I restart? Oh yes, I can. Oh, there you go, so even worse than Shinobi. Yeah, that is slow. So let's skip that back on. Who's Liz's guy? Oh. There you go. So again, with this sort of game with the frame skip on, it doesn't it doesn't feel that bad. It just it I guess it would be just a lot more fluid, a lot more smooth. So what else have I got? Mortal Kombat. So this one doesn't doesn't work properly. Uh, I also tried Dead or Alive. Um, and on Dead or Alive, you couldn't see the the characters at all. Uh, everything else worked with the graphics. Everything seemed to be working fine. It was playable, but you just couldn't see the characters. You just saw their shadow underneath their feet, um, so you couldn't play it. Um, Tomb Raider as well. Uh, the graphics were so messed up, although the speed and everything seemed all right. Again, this is early days. Uh, it's not been properly optimized yet. So a lot of these things seem to work all right. But I just have to hit and hope, so I'm always pressing the A button and pressing the start button alternately to skip through the menus. So I can I can pick my character. And then press start and A. And I've tried playing around with the layers and things, it doesn't seem to to do anything on this. Everything everything I do seems to be the same. Oh, rockets. <laughs> there you go. So it works. It feels all right. Um, like the speed seems to be like a Mortal Kombat game. Um, and if I, there you go. So I turn on the, I turn off the frame skip limiter and you can see that I'm down to 28. So really slow. So let's switch that back on for the next game. And we go to Buster Move, which I realize isn't much of a test. Um, but, uh, but actually, interestingly, still runs really slow without the frame skip. So obviously it's it's unlikely that this game was going to give it any trouble, but um, there you go.
but still enjoyable to play. Oh, that wasn't very good. Oh, that looks good. Is that going to go all the way out there? Oh, I thought it was going to catch both lots then. So, that's my first test. Um, I may overclock higher. Uh, I might try some more games. Um, but uh, but I was impressed. You know, it's, uh, the Saturn isn't that old in emulation terms for this to be running it. And, uh, and I think that pretty much all the games I've played have been good enough to play uh, with the frame skip limiter on. Um, but uh, anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.